Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamal, and today we're going to talk about how to do conditional calculations. Specifically, we're going to be talking about some F's function. Okay, so we have this sample data. Uh, it shows the sales of uh, you know certain uh, products, and uh, we do have about uh, four thousand five hundred rows in this table, and uh, we do have three years in it. Okay, worth of data. And what we are trying to achieve is basically the total sales for each product in 2008. And also we would like to calculate the commission for the salesperson based on the agreed percentage and also based on, you know, the lower limit for the commission to be calculated. And that scenario sometimes happened, you know, in business. So we're going to demonstrate that uh, so you get a fair understanding of some Fs that can be uh, useful um, in your uh, daily work, hopefully. Cool. Uh, I know that uh, some of this can be achieved very easily in pivot tables, but we're not talking about pivot tables today. And also when you... Uh, learn how to use some Fs correctly, I mean, it will be very powerful and you can, uh, you know, design your custom tables. I mean, uh, it's not, it's not, uh, the pivot tables are not really that flexible when it comes to how you present them. All right. And also they require refresh all the time. Anyway, so uh, the, uh, I think it's um, beneficial now to talk about how the some Fs function actually function internally all right so uh, the sum f's function is basically uh, a filter all right and uh, so uh, for example if we uh, want to calculate the total sales for digital cameras here uh, in um, 2008 uh, so the sum f's function what it's going to do it's going to uh, product column here and it's going to filter um, on digital cameras and then it's going to filter the year on 2008 and then once that is done it will go down and found out okay how much the total sales was and it was 20848 okay so remember that uh, n number here because you're going to see it soon all right so um, yeah so uh, let's see how that works. Okay, so the sum f function, uh, remember always that it is a filter. So you would need to supply a column that you would like to filter, and then you supply the uh, the filter value. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. So when you write sum f, you will get two functions, sum f and sum f's. The, uh, they function uh, exactly the same. The only difference is some f uh, receives only one condition. Some f receives multiple um, conditions. All right, and we have multiple conditions, so we're going to use uh, some f's. All right. So um, the first thing that the function um, asks for is some range. Now, this is what is meant by this is basically uh, the column that you would like to sum which is the total all right so we see that we um, uh, the function recognize the sales table and the column uh, that is called total okay and we were able to select the column only because we came here at the top of the table and once we saw the um, the black arrow here facing down uh, we clicked all right the second thing that the function asks for is the criteria range. Now, this is where you need to remember that some Fs is a filter. So it is asking you here, uh, what's the first column that you would like to filter? Now, we would like to filter the product column. So we give it that. And then it's asking us, what is the criteria one? So criteria one is basically what's the filter value? And we would like to filter the product column in sales table with this filter, digital cameras, right? Because we're writing the function here. Okay, so 
we're done with the first uh, column okay so now it is asking for the criteria range 2 so this is basically the second column that you would like to filter and in this case it's going to be the year all right so we're going to filter the year column and it's asking us then for the criteria 2 which is basically the filter value for the year column and the filter value for the year column is this one right okay and um, because we're gonna you know drag this function down we need the uh, uh, the year uh, cell here to stay the same so we need to lock it by using a four or just writing you know um, the dollar sign before the column and before the row all right so with that we calculated the uh, total for digital cameras in 2008 and as you can see here we see the same number that we uh, that we got when we filtered the table here which is 200,000 um, you know 848 uh, okay so when we drag the function down you will see that uh, uh, and we go in into any one of them here you see that um, the product will uh, started you know going down but because we locked the year so the year doesn't change even when we dragged the formula all right so now we calculated um you know the total sales for each product in 2008 now it is time to calculate the uh commission so the commission uh we're gonna basically um so we know that the lower limit it's going to be 3000 so we're going to cal uh, you know perform the same calculation that we've done here which is digital cameras you know uh, in 2008 okay and then we will need to apply a new filter which is going to be uh you know all the invoices here or let's say all the sales here any row where the total is above 3000 okay so we're going to apply a new filter here all right so quickly we're going to do the same calculation that we have done before um sorry i'm going to come back here as we did before so it's some f's and we know the sum range is going to be the total and uh, then we're going to filter the product and we're going to filter it by digital cameras here which is our filter value and then we're going to filter the year and we're going to filter the year by um, the year that we have here, which is uh, 2008. Uh, okay, and 2008 need to be locked so it doesn't change. Now, we come to our third filter. Now, the third filter is going to be any invoice that exceeds or bigger than, you know, uh, $3,000. All right, so we need uh, so the criteria range to the new column that we need to filter is basically the total this time and we will and the filter value which is criteria three that the function is asking for now is going to be bigger than three thousand but if you write it this way it's going to give you an error and uh, that's why you need to put the um, greater than between quotation marks and after that you need to put an ampersand and then you can put 3000 but it's better to refer to the cell rather than uh, than doing that okay and we need to lock the cell as well so now we are filtering the um, product column with the uh, product here and the year with the year that we have here and also the total we are filtering the total with any uh you know uh, row where the uh, total value is greater than three thousand all right so we're done here calculating the uh the total sales but what we need to do now we need to multiply this by the uh, salesperson commission percentage right so we say multiply by two percent here and we need to lock it as well and we hit enter and there we go we get the um, commission for the salesperson all right now if you change the percentage here of course i mean uh, everything there is gonna change 
and if you change the lower sales limit is also going to change all right so this is how uh, you know one of the applications for some f's um, can be done uh, so i hope you guys find the uh, video useful and um, you know what to do um, if you like the video so uh, i hope to see you um, next time and thanks so much for watching bye